We begin tonight in Denver where messages of hate, including swastikas, were spray painted on a house of worship. Yet the congregation vows it will not be deterred from its own message and mission. Yeah, members of the church work to feed the homeless and they can't understand why anyone would do this. Dominic Garcia joins us from outside the church in the city, Beth Abraham and Dom. This really hurts their hearts. Hey, Karen and Jim, this church actually used to be a synagogue decades ago. As for that vandalism, here it is. You can see several of these were left by the vandal, including some graffiti over in the alley. And this community just can't understand why someone would do this. For many, the church in the city is a beacon of hope. And when you talk to Tamara Hoskins, she is eager to tell you about the outreach they do. We open our home. This is a home. And this is a home to all of us. It's our family. Uh, most of us here at Church in the City our family. But on Wednesday, she says they were hurt by one of the very people they were trying to help. They thought this man just wanted a hot meal. I feel violated because we try to feed. We do feed these people five days a week in this building. And um, I just feel like we, we've been violated. It's like we do good and they're just trying to take it away. Police say Frank Maya is the one who did this. His hands and shoes had paint on them. It is awful whenever we see a place of worship treated in this way. Scott Levin is with the Denver chapter of the Anti-Defamation League. He says anti-Semitic incidents have been on the rise the past few years and big or small people need to know about it. I think it should get the attention it does because I think when we see hateful incidences we need to call them out, identify them for what they are. Tamara says they're hurt but it won't stop them from trying to help others. Doing good to the community and I think I believe this one's trying to take our good away. Amaya does have a criminal history. He now faces charges that include assault on a peace officer and a bias-motivated crime. In Denver, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.